thing YouTube filtered it. So we can't watch it. We have to go episode three, which is not that big of a deal because um, the preliminaries aren't, guys, I'm just going to say it. They suck. They're not as good as they used to be. I said it. Producers, they fuck the early segments of the other seasons. They fuck them. I don't enjoy them. Previously on MasterChef, the 40 best home cooks in America Woo! faced off in the culinary battles Ooh, of their lives. Okay, we'll do all that is delicious. Thank you. In the end, pass this apron to your son. Only the 20 best yeah! claimed a coveted white apron and a spot in the competition. Who is that? Tonight. The Tonight, I don't give a shit. It just made me watch it, man. The no. Don't worry, man. You get this, man. Don't do that, man. Give yourself some help. I'm a retired we got this. golf professional from Maybe California, but. Don't let this gray hair fool you. I'm like Muhammad Ali. When I'm in that kitchen, I float like a butterfly, but get in my way and I sting like a bee. What? Yeah. And I'm gonna take these youngsters out one by one. Welcome, everybody. Yeah. Come on down. Right here. Woo! Before this, I was in my dorm room cooking in a microwave, and now I'm in the nicest kitchen I've ever seen in my life. The equipment room is like stacked with steel this, steel that. Every equipment you could ever wish for. Oh my god. Someone pinch me. I'm freaking out. She looks and sounds like fucking 13. To the Master Chef kitchen. Yeah. One of you 20 home cooks will become America's next Master Chef. And one of you will win the ultimate culinary prize. The MasterChef Trophy. The... Uh, hello? It's not here. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> because it's coming via a very special delivery. Oh! oh the, throughout the... the competition, we will be welcoming some of the world's greatest chefs to judge your dishes. Judges, tonight, special guests, Christina judges. Christina and I are beyond thrilled to welcome a world-renowned chef who has created one of the biggest food empires on the planet. Who's it gonna be? The one and only... No! Wolfgang Mr. Puck! Oh, oh, I love it! Wolfgang Puck is the god of the culinary world. I got it. Oh, How are you? Good to see you. MasterChef is stepping up their game this Wolf year. Wolfgang, is that a first name? It's an absolute honor to have you here. I'm so excited to be here at the biggest cooking competition in America. I'll take that trophy from oh. you. Mozart! Mozart, his name is... The competition starts Wolfgang right Mozart. now. With America's most iconic food challenge, the MasterChef Mystery Box. For your Wolf food, Bangs, Master Chef, no mystery shots. box. I have juice and an ingredients which comes in many colors, shapes, and forms. And I'm really excited. What you gonna do with it? On the count of three, you will lift those boxes. One, it's pasta. Two, three. It's cheese. Lift. Potatoes. <laughs> Potatoes. <laughs> You'll have 60 minutes to make us one beautiful MasterChef worthy dish. Shepherd's pie, with the yeah. Humble potato as the starring role. Chat. You'll also have access to a limited pantry Easy. of amazing proteins along with fresh fruits. Line of the radar, vegetables. don't get eliminated. Please show Shepherd's Wolfgang, pie, Christina, and I that we picked the right cooks. Quebec style. Are you all ready? Yes, sir. Your time starts now. My life is potato. We are so honored that you're here. And I'm so excited to see these home cooks make probably better dishes than a lot of professionals. Uh, you're absolutely right. 
These home cooks are from all over the U.S. We've I got have home cooks from the East Coast, the West Coast, from Kentucky, Iowa, Illinois. We're gonna see the landscape of America on a dish. That's what I'm looking for. The pressure is on cooking a humble potato for Wolfgang Puck. My hands are shaking. Cha cha, do I need to be one cha? I'm making Quebec? one of Chef Wolfgang Puck's recipes from his book. It's latke smoked salmon pizza with creme fraiche and caviar. Let's see if I can do it the way he likes it. Pâté chinois is Today I'm um, gonna make a baked shepherd's pie, Quebec style. With bacon and chives, with a purple potato and cauliflower mash. Growing up in church, that's my dad uh, being a pastor. Sometimes he'd come home, bringing his family over for dinner. Mom was great at throwing together amazing dishes. And so, you know, this is like a- Look at it. Look at it. Look. Look. Look at it. Oh my God. No monster. her. I'm trying to throw out a sweet potato gnocchi with a uh, brown butter sage walnut sauce. Never made gnocchi before, so Sean put his ass on the line. But there's some strong chefs in here, oh, so I gotta bring my game. Where's my knives at? Let's go to Granddad. Bill. Yes, Chef. How are you doing? Hello, Bill. Welcome, Bill. So glad How to meet you, Chef. Good to meet you. What an honor. Bill is our oldest contestant we've ever had in MasterChef Kitchen. What is it, empty pans? I, I, I'm trying to get rolling here. I'm okay, gonna, good. You know, Stop cooking. I, I'm making potato pancakes. I'm going to be doing that with my standard maple crusted bacon. It was one of our family's favorite breakfasts. I've learned from my grandmother. My grandmother used to make potato pancakes too, so we'll see what you're oh, coming up with. Oh, I hope I can match up. Good luck. Thank you. Hello, hash browns. Terry. Yes. How's How are going? you, Chef? I'm going to go with potato pancake in three different colors. Okay. And then I'm going to also put in a red cabbage slaw. I'm uh, German and Irish, so we got a lot of potatoes in our background. Good luck. Thank you. Damn, this guy, dude. Let's cook, baby, cook. Holy oh, shit, this guy. How are you guys? What are we making? So Fucking I studied pancake. abroad in Spain last semester. I just love Spanish food. I love Spanish culture. So I'm making a tortilla española. Uh, you said it with a perfect accent. Thank you. I'm Spanish. And I'm making with that a potato croqueta and then a sweet potato gazpacho. So three things. I have a lot to do, but I'm really focusing on the potato. Wow, you have a lot to do. You better get going. Good luck. <laughs> just over 30 minutes to go, guys. Speed up. Today I am making a fried potato salad because everything's fried in Iowa. I am topping it with a few strips of really beautiful New York Speak up. strip steak. Growing up, I didn't have a lot of money, so naturally we grew up every single day eating potatoes. So I am confident that Wolfgang Puck has never had these kind of potatoes before, but he's going to love them. Jesus! Beautiful. There are some great looking dishes out there. I'm intrigued by the Spanish lady. Beautiful. I sought to do three different dishes. I'm bitches. I can't wait to taste my potato <laughs> latkes with the smoked salmon. Who is this? I was stolen one of Wolfgang's <laughs> recipes, Christina. I know the dish so well, so it better be perfect. Ten minutes to go. Stop the clock. Everybody, stop what you're doing. Listen up. I've got some very <laughs> important news. For one of you, this is your last 10 minutes in this competition because the person who cooks the worst dish will be giving us back their white apron. Ten minutes to go. Stop the clock. For one of you, this is your last 10 minutes in this competition. The guy with the white hat up. He's done. Let's go. I don't think I can make yeah, it, but yeah, I'm going to yeah, get yeah. my damnedest. He, he, 10 minutes to go, Wolfgang, and you are falling behind. What would you suggest? Think about the presentation, because the first impression is very important. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Mm, not working. Isn't it Italian? Yes, I'm seriously worried about it. French or German? It's a bit plain, the steak, the potatoes. Didn't really sound like it was going to get elevated. If I don't get anything on the plate, I'm definitely going home. Sean is losing yeah. it. I don't even think he's making a sweet potato gnocchi anymore. I think he's doing like a sweet potato ravioli. He is. Oh my goodness. Are they burnt diamond? Um, crispy? Crispy. crispy. That's oh, another word for burnt. One minute to go. You've got to start plating. <gasps> okay, dude. Remember, someone is going home. Brush, brush, brush. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven, seven, six, 
Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Hands in the air. Yeah. And no cheating. Done. Well done. Nice job. That was intense. As you know, <laughs> you taste all your dishes as they come together. Remember, we're looking for the best dish. But we're also looking for the worst dish. Tonight, there were three dishes that really blew us away with how bad they were. <laughs> the first home cook tonight did not maximize across the 60 minutes. But this dish for us was way too simple, way too little imagination. My dish looks like crap. And all I keep saying to myself is, please don't taste my dish. Please don't taste my dish. Please. Who the fuck is this forward. guy? They... Ooh. And what do they do? They taste my dish. Wolfgang Puck is up there on the stage. My gut drops to the floor. Nathan. Yes, chef. What are you calling the dish? Tonight I have a twice baked potato. It's got caramelized onions and bacon filled with this purple potato shit. and cauliflower puree. You know, the whole color in here, does that like appetizing to you? No, chef. It looks like somebody ate it already once. Yes, chef. Spit it out. A few of the ideas are actually good. You know, you had the bacon here, gives it a lot of flavor. The cheese gives it a lot of flavor. But maybe spice it up a little bit. I'm oh, I like this guy. For creativity. Turn around. What does it say up there? Master Chef, chef. What does it mean? It means we are the 20 most passionate chefs in America, chef. You have a long way to go. We asked Wolfgang to give up his day to come and judge some phenomenal dishes. Um. This is where it gets embarrassing for Christina and I. It just looks sad. Yeah. Inside is a bit strange. The puree's wet, the cauliflower's sort of smelly, like a dirty sock in there. Ugh, and the pot potato almost tastes sort of undercooked. <laughs> you are one of the youngest. And tonight, oh, fuck no. it showed that lack of maturity. You heard I stopped the clock with 10 minutes to go. What did I say? One chef will be going home tonight. Damn. Growing up, I dealt with a lot of people who said I was immature for my age, who just told me to give up on my dreams. So what Gordon said really hit me hard. I'm here to prove them wrong. Or prove them right. The second disastrous dish was put together by another home cook that put something on a plate we've kind of seen a million times. And the presentation is just really lacking, sadly. Oh, Please step shit. forward. Cassie. Cassie. Oh, shit. I came into this competition with no intentions in ever being in the bottom three. Never have I made anything that anyone has said this is the worst. What the fuck is that? All right, Cassie. Explain the dish. This is a New York pepper strip steak over a fried potato salad chef. Visually, a potato Man, salad fry, is typically yeah. light in color. Creamier. Yeah, because yes. you're tossing it with mayonnaise. Yes. Oh, fuck. And what is this orange stuff here? I just wanted <laughs> to get a pop of color with some sweet potato. <laughs> it's fucking skip You used three different kinds of potatoes. There's definitely something to be said for that. Um, but overall, for me, steak and potatoes is just so ordinary and so commonplace. You definitely just didn't take it far enough. I mean, how would you feel if this was your last dish? Break my heart. It might be. Chef. Chat. This judge, with the way, she, with the way she's uh, no. dressed up, she looks like um. You know what? If you give me that in a restaurant, I wouldn't eat it. The girl's a little bit sunshine back, or whatever. Says, the movie? Bring me something different. Yes, Chef. Color is so important, you know? This look like brown. I come all the way from my the restaurant. Movie. To eat that? No. Um, I, 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 I just like her, I'm just gonna say it. The third dish that really missed the mark tonight Not him. was made by a home cook who probably spent more time in the equipment room than on the stove. Please um, step forward. Oh, guy, Bill. Bill. My man's Bill. 
Oh, he's confident. He's like, you're wrong. Look at him. I know I didn't make the best potato dish out there today, but I know it wasn't the worst. Hopefully, the judges are going to see that I made it the star. Bill. Yes, sir. What do you call that? <laughs> I call it potato pancakes with bacon. Do you think this is creative? Today, I wanted to make the potatoes the star. You know what? It's a fading star. It's IHOP. Yes, we want to have the ingredients to shine. Now, how did you make this? I bake at a high temperature so I can get the right texture. Can you hear the potatoes? They're still crunchy inside, too. So you have more. to bake them longer. Though the bacon is always good. <laughs> this is a cooking competition. And you have to go out on a limb and try to do something where the judge is going to say, wow, I wish I Guys, would have thought about this. Guys, he has no content. Yes, you let yourself down. I know you can do better than that. Right, Bill? Yes, Chef. There's a big advantage being one of the oldest in this competition because the experience. But yes, looking sir. at that, it worries me that this is as far as your yeah, imagination this, this can take you. This is kind of dog shit, The competition is on. Behind you are some very talented home cooks. You need to bring your A game. And that is a D minus. <sighs> So, me. I mean, it's three lackluster dishes. Not brilliant. No. Three home cooks. Sadly, someone has cooked their last dish in the MasterChef kitchen. Two arms. The person going home is... Bill. Bill. Bill, for sure. For sure, Bill. Three home cooks. Sadly, someone has cooked their first and last dish in the MasterChef kitchen. The person going home is... Bill? Bill? Cassie. What? Well, she's content, do I hate her? I'm afraid tonight is the end of the road. We asked the potato to be the hero. Unfortunately, the two potatoes you put on there were dreadful. Please remove your apron and leave the MasterChef kitchen. Thank you. I am just a self-taught baker from Iowa. And even though it's an oh early my exit, gosh, she's annoying. I will always wear the apron in my heart. I don't care. Oh, she's so fucking annoying. Nathan, Bill, what did you please go back her? to your stations. Oh, chef. Let's get on to some better news, shall we? There were some really Incredible dishes there tonight. Most but but I have there dog can shit. only be one winner. The winning dish really celebrated the potato. I was very impressed. Congratulations. Andrea. Yeah. Andrea. I won. I won. I won. I won. Wolfgang Puck loved my potatoes. Need a minute? <laughs> I can't breathe. <laughs> <laughs> I can literally die happy right now. Uh, all of you join Christine and I in thanking this incredible chef. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Challenge number one in MasterChef, we had Wolfgang Puck. Thank you. Thank you, chef. Thanks. Who's walking through that door next? I, I, I'm so excited and I can't wait to see. Andrea, join Christine and I up here. It's Mr. Right Mom. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Good job. Thank you. You are in the driving seat. You do not have to cook in the Mo? upcoming elimination challenge. <laughs> My balls. <laughs> For your second advantage, you will get to save half of the home cooks. Wow. Do you save all the girls? Oh. Or oh. do you save all the boys? Someone's going home at the end of this challenge. And I'm trying to get rid of my competition, so I got to choose wisely. Have you made your mind up? I have. All the boys. I'm going to save my lady. <laughs> Head on up to the balcony. Bye, ladies. Good luck, guys. These girls can be as friendly as they want with me now, but little do they know, I don't see them as competition. Ladies, a sigh of relief. <laughs> I know I can beat them. Yeah, one, and one the of the boys, let them fight it out themselves. 
gents, are you all ready to find out what you're cooking in your first ever elimination challenge? Yes, yes chef. Chef. chef! Well, tough. <laughs> because I'm not going to tell you. Instead, I'm going to show you. Oh, my gosh. Oh, wow. Please, all of you, come down to the front. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh this is so cool. <laughs> This is amazing to watch. I'm so glad I'm not down there cooking because this is going to be so hard. I'm really sorry, boys, but one of y'all going home. Okay. This next challenge is the ultimate culinary test. Tonight, you will Egg be it. replicating a Egg highly it. technical Gordon Ramsay dish. Nice. Oh. It's, a, it's some Hollandaise bullshit. Oh, you'll have to rely on your eyes and your palate to recreate it because I'm going to make it but I'm not going to tell you what's in it. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. Yes, chef. I just won this apron, and you are a woman to cook like you? Really? Look, frame rate, all the way down. So, fish is going to be the star of this dish. Here it comes, here it comes. Last second. What's the first thing you see on fish when it comes out of the sea? Scales. Scales, yeah. Scales. So, gently place the scales on. This is all about finesse. There's nothing better than watching Gordon Ramsay cook. Scale side down. It's mesmerizing. He moves with this confidence that I don't think I've ever seen anybody cook with. In to the oven. But the problem is I'm seeing all of these ingredients that I can't quite place. Think of the perfect garnish. Like, those are definitely not cheese balls. Like, they're carrots, right? In here, a delicious vegetable couscous. I have never in my life heard of a vegetable couscous. The sauce will be based on two items, olive oil and a stock. Mm. Just smell the fragrance in there. Bill, don't singe that beer. Now for the exciting part. Everything goes on a plate for a reason. You put anything on the plate, we are going to judge you. Vegetables around the outside, so we've got the taste of the earth. One thing you don't do is flood the plate with a sauce. You put it on there with a little bit of elegance. And then finally... It smells so good. Just... Oh, wow. Lift. And then on. Wow. How cool was that? The fuck? Grab a spoon and dig in. Oh, I'm so jealous. Take a mouthful. All I can think about is how to identify these okay, flavors. Okay, some of that Guys, sauce. I, who keeps spelling it? Lisa Ann Lowell. Why are you saying that? I've eaten at He's all of Gordon Ramsay's restaurants in Vegas. I know what he delivers. I hope you were paying attention, because now it's your turn to replicate it from scratch. You'll all have five minutes in the MasterChef pantry, but once you've shopped, there is no going back in. All of you, welcome to MasterChef. Any questions? No, Chef. Would you put it? <laughs> All right, guys. No, I did one, did five it. minutes. It's name. Start now. Guys, this challenge I'm gonna is Google going this to be end. extremely insane. We have to make a Gordon Ramsay dish, and we don't know what the ingredients are. So the pantry is chaos. The only thing I don't feel confident about is the fish. I'm just praying to sea bass, because that's what I got. My big question is, will they get the fish right? It was a classic white fish that dries out very, very quickly. Halibut. Now, there were two potatoes on there. For the scales, we used the usual It's not a beet, it's a bad tub. There was one more potato around the outside. I think they're going to think it was carrot. It was a sweet potato. I'm grabbing orange carrots, and all the while, I'm watching the boys grab couscous. I'm like, ah, oh, they're stupid boys, because I know that couscous isn't couscous. There's no couscous in there. It's all made with cauliflower. Easily the most important five minutes of this entire challenge. <laughs> I've got to put all this together in five minutes. Well, he chose I'm looking them. around, and my basket is half as full as everybody around just me. Just cheat, five then. Five minutes, go. Pull, pull a Christy, oh. just cheat. I'm in trouble. I'm as nervous as a long-tailed cat in a room full of rocking chairs. I don't know what I'm going to do. A what? I'm hoping you've shot properly. Wow, what has Bill got in his basket? 
You got five minutes and you put six things in your basket. Uh... This is their first big challenge. It's not going to be perfect tonight. Wait, yeah. he's got nothing but in there. Even if they've got the wrong fish, as long as they've got a white fish on there, some form of potato on top, a nice couscous, and the vinaigrette balance with the puree, that will keep me happy. Yeah. I picked halibut. I'm from North Carolina. I grew up going to the beach with my family, catching fish with my grandpa. I know seafood. I think I'm going to be fine. I am confident in my taste buds. OK, fam. Gentlemen, 40 minutes remaining. DeAndre, how are you doing? I'm thinking I'm OK, chef. What fish did you use? I'm using sea bass. <laughs> I just thought that the flake of the fish reminded me more of sea bass than anything else. This What's is, in there? That's my yep. white carrot puree that I'm going to blend up and pass their chinois. Wow. And what do you think the balls were? You know, it was a toss-up between carrot and sweet potato. I just felt like the way that it broke when I smashed it with my spoon reminded me a nice, little bit more of carrots. Good luck. Thank you, chef. How we doing, potatoes? All right, Bill, how's it going? I forgot a lot of my ingredients today. I kind of work with the hand I dealt myself. What's that? Okay, so let's just talk about this. Yeah, I got my couscous steaming. Oh my God, he Is did it. Is that what you tasted on Gordon's dish? I thought it was, but I realized it was cauliflower. It's like I, I really screwed up on that. I'm gonna leave you to it. Good Thank luck. You, Thank you. Oh, guys, his ten buds are defective. He's old. He's it's not fair. Us. Terry, how's it going? Very good, Chef. You're a handyman, so you're constantly multitasking. Are you confident? Yes, Chef. I love whenever the pressure watch comes, out, watch I out. step up to the challenge. Tell me about the fish. What did you okay, get? And then well, you put your entire right. all What's in here? Fingers? That's a sweet potato, Chef. Ching. You thought the balls around the outside were sweet potato. I thought they were. Cooking is important for you, right? Without a doubt, Chef. It's my, it's, it's everything for me. I'm uh, more than excited to learn, and uh, I don't want to go anywhere. Well, focus and concentrate. You've got just under 15 minutes. Good luck. Thank you. Nathan, I, you were on the chopping block during the mystery box challenge. How are you feeling about this challenge? I can't believe I'm replicating the Gordon Ramsay dish, but I do believe I'm going to be the person who nails it. What do you think the fish was? I've got halibut. I've eaten a lot of fish. My dad's a big fisherman. He'd go down to Florida several times a year and fish, and I have had halibut. Okay. Good luck, Nathan. Thank you, Chef. He's got it, boys. Ten minutes to go. He's got it. There you go, Sean. So many of them are coming up to the crucial moment of getting the fish in the pan. All right, who's looking good? Terry's fish looks amazing. He's got the right Ooh, fish. He's okay, got he gets bullied. He's got the cauliflower Dude, in there. He's a like, master chef that kitchen. That potato, so and I'll do who bullied them. They're going at fucking McDonald's. Minimum oh, wage game is a fucking food stand up in this bitch, man. I just don't know that over the course of 60 minutes, no. he's going to be able to recreate. What is Bill doing? He's got a big mound of Israeli couscous that he tried to steam in a bamboo steamer. Ay, ay, ay. No, Dan just flipped his fish and every scale. No, no food. offense to people McDonald's or A lot of the Come ingredients on. are spot on, but the technique just isn't there. Fire. Oh, oh fire. Really? Oh. Oh. Ah, uh, the irony. Two of and a half course. to go. <gasps> Come on, finesse. Come on, guys. Get some food on the plate, please, Bill. <sighs> One minute to go. Oh, my God, Bill. Remember, at least one of you is going home based on the replication of oh, Gordon's good. dish. That's not good. Oh, Ten, my God. Nine, nine eight, eight, seven, seven six, six oh my God. five, oh my God. four, oh my God. three. Oh, he hit him hard. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. I want that bro with something like that. Oh I know you're Big Max. So, so In tonight's down. challenge, we asked you to recreate Gordon's extremely McDonald's detailed is a good experience dish to work in. without Four a recipe. My dish was an amazing Yukon Gold scaled halibut. Oh, yes. I knew it was halibut. Yeah. <laughs> Underneath that was a fragrant cauliflower couscous. Around the outside was caramelized sweet potatoes. Oh. Matched with a parsnip puree. Yeah. Garnished with sugar snap peas, garlic flowers. And then surrounding that, a vinaigrette. We were asking you home cooks to replicate a three Michelin star dish. Oh. Oh. Now Three stars it's time for that. to find out just how close your plates were to Gordon's. Let's start off with the youngest tonight. Nathan, let's go. 
This is my last shot in redemption. I barely made it by in the last challenge, and I cannot be in the bottom again. I am for sure going home. You've just come out of the bottom three with a lacklust potato dish. And you went harder. Yes, we threw you in the deep end. Yes, we put you up against trying to replicate a three mission style dish. However, I'm looking for potential. This looks stunning. This looks stunning. Fuck me. Damn. You've just come out of the bottom three with a lacklust potato dish. This looks stunning. Thank you, Shell. Uh, uh, really? uh, Describe the dish. I have for you a Yukon gold scale halibut with cauliflower couscous with olive oil vinegar sauce Shut and up. carrots instead of sweet potatoes. Visually, it looks beautiful. Let's get Thank that right. You, In terms of the proportion against my dish, you've got the right amount of couscous on there. The grain is spot on. Inside the couscous, you've got what? Um, capers, lemon zest, dill, and the cauliflower. Nathan, it's good. Fish nice and moist. Crispy potatoes, beautifully seasoned. Got a few things wrong. Carrots aren't on there. Yeah, He's a bit more sauce. Um, but had you got that right, you would have nailed it 100%. I can guarantee you, you're not going home tonight. Thank you very much. Job. What a comeback. Oh, that's cute. How you feeling? I'm feeling great, Chef. You feeling emotional? Yes, Chef. Why? You know, when I played that first dish, I was really disappointed with myself earlier this evening. Growing up, I was bullied a lot for things like being immature, and um, it hit me that I was not gonna leave this challenge with the last words being immature, so I wanted to come back. Come. Nathan, if Wolfgang Puck could see you now. And he is. He Damn. will be as proud as we are. Thank you, Chef. That vinaigrette, so bright, so vibrant, right fish, right couscous. Gordon Ramsay has just said, you got close to his three Michelin star dish. What do you say now to all those people? Say you're immature, say you can't do it. I say they're wrong. 100%. Okay. I say they're wrong, too. I think you <laughs> really stepped it up. Dude, what a nice skit. Job. Thank you very much, Chef. <laughs> no, that was a long <gasps> okay, That's cool, though. Well, let's start. Next up, Bill. Even though I grabbed limited ingredients, I know I got the right fish. Oh, no. I just hope Clueless. I executed properly. Bill. Yes, Chef. Describe the dish, please. I have a Yukon Gold Encrusted Halibut on a bed of citrus couscous with sweet potatoes and peas. I had pretty much the ingredients. Are you serious? <laughs> when you get an opportunity to go into that MasterChef pantry, it is a chance for you to show off. It looks like you went in there on a budget. Why Israeli couscous? When you tasted my dish, did you honestly think that was couscous? <laughs> no puree? No puree. No sauce? No sauce. No, yes, either. you got the right fish, granted. But I'm only going to judge you on what you give me to eat. Yes, chef. Come on, Bill. Next up, Eric. Yes. 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 All right, Eric. Tonight, I have you a fingerling scaled halibut over a white carrot couscous snap peas, caramelized carrots, and a parsnip puree. You got a nice color on those potato scales. The puree, spot on. But your dish played a little bit more to the sweeter notes. Gordon used cauliflower as his couscous, and you used white carrot. Definitely not perfect, but technique-wise, we can see the pursuit of finesse in your dish. Strong effort. Good job, Eric. Good job, Eric. Thank you. Next up, David. I have a Yukon gold potato scale sea bass with a cauliflower couscous, carrots, parsnip puree, sugar snap peas Looks with a good. citrus fish stock vinaigrette. 
fish was the wrong fish, sea bass instead of halibut, but nice cook on it. Scales could be a little bit more finessed. Parsnip puree, nice job. Thank you. Not a lot of guys got that. Oh, Next up, okay. DeAndre, please. <sighs> DeAndre? The judges have to eat this dish, and I don't want to serve it to them. I ran out of time, and I know I didn't put my best foot forward. Walking down here, shaking your head, doesn't give Christina and I much confidence. Describe the dish, please. We have a fingerling crusted sea bass with a cauliflower couscous, caramelized carrots, and a cauliflower root and white carrot puree. What's the dribble around the outside? That was my vinaigrette. I didn't have time to like spoon it in the way that I wanted to, and I didn't have time to tornob the carrots. I don't know. Wait, wait, what? Why are you guys loving? What? No. Let's go. The judges have to eat this dish, and I don't want to serve it to them. I ran out of what? time, and I know I didn't put my best foot. What are those? Forward. What the Walking fuck are those? Walking down here, shaking your head, doesn't give Christina and I much Shit. confidence. Describe the dish, please. We have a fuck, dude. This is some and RB. White carrot puree. What's the dribble around the outside? That was my vinaigrette. I didn't have time to like spoon it in the way that I wanted to, and I didn't have time to tornob the carrots. I don't know. It wasn't even a carrot. This is not my best effort today. <laughs> Carrots are like bullets. Wrong fish. At least I thought you would have done it justice and cooked it beautifully. You're quite a cool, vibrant oh, young man, no so you got a no. bit of style and panache about you. <laughs> but I don't see it on the plate. Next up, Terry. Woo! Go, Terry! Go, Terry. Chef, I have a Yukon gold crusted halibut on top of a bed of cauliflower couscous. Garnished Ooh, with a sweet shit. potato and a squash puree. Oh, he's got it all right except for the squash puree. Un unlucky. Flavor wise, it's light, it's bright, nice seasoning in the potatoes. The sweet potato. Would love to see them glaze in just a little bit more of that butter in the pan. But it shows everything we were looking for technique flavor, potential. Thank you, chef. Does your yeah. family know you can cook like this? Um, no, I have never cooked anything that spectacular for them. But what I want to do is hang up my handyman belt, definitely, and open up a restaurant. Good, because you aren't going anywhere with a dish like this. Oh, Nice job. Oh, I like Terry. He's not bad. Dan, let's go. All righty. I've never cooked anything this complicated in my life. But I've got a college degree. Blast I'm one of the best home. students here. I mean, I can't screw this up. Chefs, I don't think I nailed it, but I do think I did a pretty good job. Dan, you may wow the ladies and flash your teeth, your smile, but that doesn't really work for me. We have a lot of pressure on our shoulders to find America's next master chef. And that. What? Let me it see just it. looks like fish sat on a frat party bag of puke. Oh shit! Dan. Oh, it's garbage. Hey. Let's go. Chefs, I don't think I nailed it, but I do think I did a pretty good job. <laughs> oh Dan. my! That looks terrible. Describe your mess. I made a pan-seared and roasted halibut with Yukon gold potatoes, cauliflower couscous, cauliflower puree, and butter glazed sweet potatoes. You got the fish right, cauliflower right, and then you're going to screw it up by throwing a liter of stock on there. It looks like you f on my plate. <laughs> it does. Try it's not it. funny. I hope Try you're not it. here as some kind of goofball. It actually tastes better than it looks. I knew it. But are you serious about this competition? Yes. Competition. You're not taking it seriously enough. Because that scares the crap out of me. Thank you. I'm looking at this as a life lesson. I want to show America that I, I'm serious. Just because I'm a frat guy doesn't mean I can't cook. OK, pal. All right, guys. Some of you really impressed us tonight. Terry. There were two. Nathan particularly stunning dishes. The first home cook showed us great technique with his gigantic Aww. hands. Terry. Terry. Big team. 
but the winning dish this tonight. This is G check. G check. Nathan. Nathan. Thank you, Chef. Both of you will now become captains in our next big team challenge. Congratulations to you both. Well done. Thank you. All his fingers are all abandoned up. Got some bad news. At least one person will be leaving the MasterChef kitchen tonight. The first home cook, please come down to the front. Bill. Bill. Okay. The old saying, if you can't stand the heat, get out of the kitchen. This might be the day that I'm going to have to get out of the kitchen. But maybe I can squeeze by this. The second Dan. disappointment. And the Andre. Andre. Make your way down here. Two very different home cooks. Bill, 62, from Piuma Valley, Wait. California. DeAndre, 25, from Las Vegas. Bill, you were lost tonight, and you can't go missing, especially not in an elimination Guys, challenge. it has no technique, no DeAndre, finesse. DeAndre, your plate was devoid of potential and finesse. That's something that we expect of you every single day that you're in this kitchen. DeAndre, please step forward. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Tonight, DeAndre, you tell me, are you staying yes, or are you going? Chat, I can think of sister chat when he's not moving, but the shoes are, dude. Look at it. Tonight, DeAndre, yeah. you tell me, are you staying <laughs> or are you going? I feel like I was born to be here. I feel like I can do better because I know I've done better. Cut I've... the Sure. Are you staying or are you going? I'm staying, chef. DeAndre. No, you're not. That's the only thing you got right tonight. Back Damn, to the station. Damn, Bill, no! I feel like the luckiest person Fuck. in the world. Going forward, I have to make sure that I shine and perform under pressure. Bill, you may be a sweet guy, but you are dead set in your old ways. And you know what they say, you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Please, oh, take come off your on. apron. And exit the MasterChef kitchen. It's been great, you, Bill. No handshake, no hug. I came here to prove that no matter how old you are, if you have a passion for something, you have to pursue it. So guys, I love you guys. Hi, Bill. So sometimes it's not good enough, though. But... I was given the opportunity to pursue that passion, and MasterChef has really opened my eyes to what is available, even for a guy my age. That's cool, though. Thank you. Next time. No, 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 fuck, fuck, shit. Guys, 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 it's, guys, it's a team challenge, we have to watch it. Guys, one million hour intro. Chat, it's gonna be a long stream, chat, we'll probably watch more episodes later, chat. One last, one last, 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 last. <laughs>